What's up, everyone? The game of the Dragon Ball Part 8 of the uh, Spiral of the Dragon playthrough. And so, we're starting the most toughest level in, in entire history. Everyone's favorite level, Treetops. Hey, Chad. <laughs> Find something being sarcastic, though, because from my personal, from my personal opinion, Treetops is not that hard for people to say it is. No, there has some annoyances at times, but not, not as bad. But yeah, I do love the uh, loading uh, screen of Treetops. And it's the only time we see uh, Spiral facing facing his face right at right at the camera. Yeah, that's very nice. And the reason why people are saying that uh, Treetops is the hardest low because Treetops is a supercharged base level, meaning that there's a bunch of pits around you, huh. and you and you had to be careful how you jump, like literally. Oh sure. And they kind of nerfed the supercharged and the HD version. Just a, just an inch. Especially when going for that one particular dragon, the second dragon is I like caught because I always take that dragon second. Due to my own strategy. I mean, I'm sure there's some people go for that dragon first, but uh, I like to go for it second. But the music is kind of relaxing. It is quite. And once maybe and once you think about it, Tree it kinda it kinda looks similar to that one level from Donkey Kong Country 1 in World 3. He rescued Lyle Fan the Groots with George the Juggle. Yeah, that's that's the gist of it. Alright. So let's go to the fence and show you guys about that hardest dragon I was talking about. Yep, the second dragon. There's a way to get there. It's like what the dragon says. Don't stop at one supercharge. No, I just gotta keep going. Yep, there's more. Hey, when I played the original one, to be honest with you, yeah, it did tell me why to get this dragon. But the rest of it, rest of the level, not too bad. Alright, so here goes nothing. Get that one jump. Jump over that gap, that big ass pit. Then glide. Yeah, it's not that easy as it sounds. And you rescue Jed, as in Jedi. That was quite a ride, Spyro. Oh, I like this dragon. Since you were a young yeah, well, you could have found an easier spot to get stuck. <laughs> He's like, oh well. <laughs> so blame me. Yeah, Vlana got blame my Lindor for calling Nasty Nork ugly and insulting him. <laughs> that none of this would never happen. <laughs> Freaking Lindor. So yeah, fun fact, I tried to go to GameStop and pre-order a uh, cup here for the Switch, but uh cup here is gonna be digital only, which means I get some Nintendo point cards. Or not point up, but, but uh, you know what I mean. <laughs> but yeah, but I'm, I can't wait to play uh, Cuphead though. Well, we, are, we already know VSL play because he, he already played for our channel. <laughs> Indeed, still waiting on the DLC though. Oh Shit. yeah, it'll probably come out when the Switch version comes out. I guarantee it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and I and I suppose you're gonna cover the DLC for our channel, right? Uh, probably. Yeah, it, it, yeah, it's 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 most likely probably. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so there's no gussing about that. I like those orangutan <laughs> for some uh, reason. Yeah, they hit you. They hit you with their feet. I wonder all those shorties saw orangutans. <laughs> God damn sure. Yeah, it's a, I refer to this one part of Scooby 2 where he was he was busting on Cindy's tits saying they look like uh, orangutan titties. <laughs> I like really shorty. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, so Today is April 3rd, which means that two games I'm looking forward to. Cuphead, as I said, and um, Mortal Kombat 11. So, anyone hype for Mortal Kombat 11? 
I kinda am, but not by much. I did get more I did get Mortal Kombat 10 without priority game because I didn't know I was gonna get it. Yeah, it's one of those games where I wasn't that hyped for it, you know. Oh yeah, we okay. need we need to supercharge to get the to get that steel chest. Okay. Oh yeah, and also this is this is also one of those levels where you can we can duff abuse. Just to save some time. Or save the bad tracking. Or speedrunner's trick. One of the three reasons. Oh yeah, you may remember that we got that key at the uh, at the balcony earlier, so that's why I took the left path first, just for that key, and then get the hard dragon out the way. And watch out for and watch out for that record time because once he kicks you, you will fall in the pit. Oh, oh, okay. Alright, so yep, there's our locked chest. Hey. Alright, just uh 105 more gems to go. And our last dragon treetops, Isaac. Isaac! God damn, mom. I hate Isaac, mom. <laughs> yeah, I still didn't beat that bitch. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, I kinda stopped playing that. Me too. Yeah. I still don't think I've heard anything new lately about repentance. Yeah, me neither. And this is where I duffy views. Nothing I know of. So, uh... Not too sure. And this is why, because now we got to, uh, supercharge to our next ramp. Oh, and at this point, you would get a trophy. Oh, uh, yeah, right. There, 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 yeah, you most likely will get it when you 100% it, so, um... <laughs> so if you 100 percent treetops, then it's, the trophy's not that hard to miss. That's gotcha. a 25 gem he has. And that should be all the gems. So yeah, so so how do you feel about treetops, Ryza? What's that? How do you feel about treetops? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, like I like I mentioned, this stage is isn't that bad people say it was. This they just don't like the pits or supercharge. But I can definitely see why they hate it. Mm, it just was back then. But uh now uh not that bad really. I know. So what do you think of it, VSL treetops? Uh it's full of tree bark and leaves. <laughs> yeah, that's that all you can right. say. Yeah, he still hasn't played his game yet. <laughs> I kind of feel the same thing about, uh, about, uh, Celeste. What, what do I think about that stage? Looks hard. That's all I can say. <laughs> Alright, now we're about to do our next flight mission. The hardest flight mission in the entire game. Like, literally. <laughs> no joke. Wild flight. You heard of wild things, right? Well, wild flight. You make my heart rage. Yeah, you made my heart sing. That's it. Yeah, that's a song. Yeah, I know. And, and this, this is a movie called Wild Things, and that movie's not that great. Yeah. That's so happily, was that my cut? <laughs> yup, cause like I said, this is the hardest flight mission. And I be going to weird ass panners. I go for the bows and the uh, archers, uh, c uh, like, in combination. I do a hard throw, get that archer, then wait for the boat to show up. Do another hard turn. Look at that tight turn I had to do. I could have thrown that war if I wasn't too careful. Black swims. <laughs> yeah, speaking of that, if you fall in the water, fire would just splash the water in defeat. <laughs> You can do a U-turn, but I don't, re I don't recommend that because every time we can do a U-turn, he flies straight down, and he might crash through the water. Yeah, that can be too risky. Oh yeah, and this is a choice for being wild flight without touching the ground. I see both, sir. Yeah, that and icy flight. Yeah, it's not that bad. 
Yeah, I already fucked up the truck, but I don't care though. <laughs> Go for the yeah. Best strategy: go for the place that's going against you. Don't just chase them; otherwise, you lose a bunch of time. Yeah, going against it makes it easier. Seven four. Nice. That, that should have been a ten four. Ten four. Copy that. <laughs> that's a code name for all right. <laughs> <laughs> We all use cone on units. We found a purple. Yeah, the purple flying dragon flying through here. <laughs> get all Norks in position. That would be get all Norks in position. Dead four, or copy that. That's what Hotshot would say. <laughs> <laughs> so we got so we got seven thousand and five hundred gems in total. It's fifty, not seven fifty. <laughs> get your damn man afraid. <laughs> I was for the mic up so all about the Zetra vids. Yeah, that used to be a meme back then, back in my high school days. <laughs> oh, gotcha. <laughs> you mean it's not still? Probably. I don't know if it's still a meme. <laughs> Well yeah, now you find any metal hit. Not metal hit from uh from Vector Man. No, not that metal hit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but can it be metal hit from Turtles in Time? Oh, I never met that metal hit. <laughs> How many metal hits are there? Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> That's already three now, so <laughs> <laughs> anybody else? <laughs> Alright, five hundred gems and one dragon. Okay. Yeah, I think in the next boss level there's two dragons. Oh yeah, those uh, monkey dudes, they got they got their armors now. Yeah, Shox is the only one that has uh two dragons. Yup. No hit's not that hard to be honest. Not even not Shox. Really. Shox is just a bit it's just annoying. With the presence he shoots at you. Yeah. The only reason why I died to Jox is so I can be without getting touched. <laughs> Yeah, I got lucky with that. I think it's gonna be two attempts actually. There. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, cause you get a scooper for for beating him, for beating Jock's ammo head without getting touched. Can't touch this. <laughs> so yeah, and there's also there's a key in this level. Okay. Hey, I don't want you to think of bananas. Give him the DK. <laughs> Alright, did you beat Death Request yet, Ryza? Uh, I'm getting close. There's 11 chapters to the game, I'm already up to 9. I'm starting on 9. That was awesome. It's still damn dark, I will say that for everybody. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, from the start to the beginning, good lord. Oh, it, it gets much, uh, it, what they show, it, it, it does get dark and much worse. Yep, even the main character looks pretty dark. <laughs> yeah, she's pretty nice. <laughs> yeah, I still need, I still need to play some more Yoshi's Crafted World. Been so busy practicing on my, uh, on Spiral 3 for my Let's Play. <laughs> I just, I got some videos to go for the channel, I just haven't been able to make Time to do that. I've just been very busy. Yeah, I still gotta record some raws for Spiral for our channel because yeah, I record a long time. I I record any raw videos for a long time only because my mom's passing and all. That's that's reasonable enough. Yeah, so, so I, I was I was bent out of shape. No, that's our channel. Man. I'm yeah. Sorry. And yesterday, and yesterday it was been ten years since my dad died. Jeez. Oh, yeah, ten years ago. Hmm. Got a suit. So in uh, two days, it's gonna be a week since my mom's passing. Oh. I see now. Yeah.
All right, now we're about to go fight some metalhead. But first, let's save that. Let's save that dragon. Yeah. Sadaki. Sadaki. Hey, ain't that the game we us to be flying? <laughs> Yes. I literally saw that reference, Sadeki. That's what we. That's what she says. You may burn the inferno. Oh my gosh! That's what the terrible, what the bad boy setting. <laughs> oh yeah, to give it to Melhead, you, you, you gotta destroy all the uh, all the uh, the turrets. The, it's like um, like lightning rods or something. I would consider it or power generator, or whatever, whatever that power, thing is. Power rods. Yeah, power, power rods. rods. Yeah, because they do uh, the electricity. Um, when it starts to flash red, yeah, you want to get away from it. And then when it's red, it'll charge up a metal head appearance, which you can't damage it. So yeah, wait till while it stays green, you can't uh, break those down. All right. Now we got to walk on this ledge for the for the lock chest. I had trouble with that the first time I was playing this, and I was like, "Where's the rest of the treasure?" But like, oh, I never checked behind the waterfall. Oh yeah, because one was, was was behind was under the grass. No, this was from the original I was playing it before. Oh right? okay. No, the the new one, no, I knew where it was in, but on the old one, I never could find this one. I was a kid. I got so stumped. It took me like 10, 15 minutes to find what I was looking for. I forgot how I found the uh how I found the locked chest. I did have trouble finding all the tre all the treasures in the lofty castle, though. <laughs> oh, and by metalhead. Wow. <laughs> Weak link. It just he falls up. It just just collapses. <laughs> and we got a skill point because when you get hit, up oh, there's the yeah. green gem. Oh yeah. Oh, we'll don't we'll get it. And you may notice that Fox didn't even point point at that fucking gem. I just know that uh, getting the um, getting over there for to get those earth gems is, is a little annoying. Yeah. Oh, you may notice that the uh, gate had closed behind you before we fought a uh, metalhead. No, I should. Oh yeah, it, it does. I forgot it does that. Yeah. So be sure you get all the gems before you fight metalhead. By the way. And yeah, fuck this jump right here, cause that's why. Where's my damn hover? Jesus Christ, come on! Where's my hover? Will we make it this time. Oh god, I thought I had this crap out. <laughs> I just thought you had to go on the way to try to find where the corner is. Yeah, that's what I did. He's not making it. Oh my god, that's four! I legitimately thought I had this out. This should be the successful one. Finally! Alright, now we're gonna jump at the, uh, at the portal, and we're gonna be one short. Two short, actually. Yeah, because we did saw that green gem out there. Yeah. yeah. And and now you tell me where that gem was. You didn't, you didn't tell me I was missing a gem of forest sparks. Alright. Alright, so Metalhead is done. Not only that, Beast Makers is 100% done. So Beast Makers can rest in peace. And we're not going back. Well, we got 8,000 gems. 1,000 more so we can make that, make that inside joke. 1,001. Yeah, oh yeah, 1,000, oh yeah, it has to be 1,001. Yes, or the joke will not work. <laughs> it's gotta be over 9,000. <laughs> not, it's 9,000! <laughs> it's 9, oh, I like it's over 9,000 a lot better. <laughs> Have been rescued. Jump in the balloon, and I'll show you the dream. Pray the balloonist. Are you ready yep. to go? Let's go then. 
Now we're going to Dream Weavers. So, do you, do you have a dream? Do you dream of Dream Weavers? Probably not. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, that let's let's dream, yo. <laughs> or you heard the Dream Team? Well, we're the Me Team, Wussy Man or Wussy <laughs> Dragon. <laughs> Who you call a Wussy? <laughs> Yeah, he's like, we're the monsters. M O N. He can't even spell it. <laughs> so, yeah, when is Space Jam 2 gonna come out? Didn't they just recently announce that they, like, just started filming it? Yeah, I think so. And I heard the different type of monsters are coming back. Alright, welcome to Dream Weaver. 300 gems and uh, 3 dragons to save. Yep. And fun fact, this this is this is this particular hub where it has that well hidden skill point when I couldn't find. Cause I had to go on a community page on the PS4 to find it, literally. Cause it was well too goddamn hidden. Like those annoying bastards. <laughs> Yeah, I kinda like <laughs> They sound better than the PS1 version. Well, it's a bit when you get hit, they're like, BOW! Something They still kinda say it! <laughs> but not but not as great as the PS1 version. It's <laughs> mm, so funny. Yeah. Uh oh, look who we saved. Oh, Latifah. Yup, we see quick. We see Queen Latifah. While chasing nasty minions in this world, you must go back to set it off, dude. And prepare for what is not there. Okay, I think he was hitting the skill point. Prepare for what's not there. Yeah, it's probably the end for this. Yes. I mean, well, it wasn't the original. We couldn't get there. Nope. Yeah, cause I I, I literally checked, and that room wasn't in the original one. Well, no. Since, that been impossible. Yeah, since the skill point was in the original one, so yeah, that makes sense. I do like the fountains, though. But too bad they hurt you. Unfortunately. Yeah, fountain that actually hurts you. <laughs> there they go. Woo, woo, woo. Oh yeah, there's a trophy for ramming into uh, four um, fools at once. You get a trophy. That's yeah, really easy to do. Yup. And Jax, the Jack in the Box. And he'll take the Nasty Norks world. Yeah, I think you can automatically go there. Yeah, I think, yeah, uh, like uh, I. There's a, there's a requirement still, but I think it's more in gems. Okay. I just want, I'm guessing it's gems, but uh, after that, you can proceed onward. Yeah. We probably have more than enough to go there anyway, but we got 100% this though. Of in, course. In every level. And this means kind of fits Dream, wait, Dream Reavers. Oh yeah, you're gonna need that cannon to shoot those fools at the uh, entrance. Otherwise, we're not gonna uh, flame them down. Yeah, flame that up. Yeah, flame that up, uh, that fool for that gem. Oh my god, somebody's hard pushing that goddamn cannon. Alright. We'll take care of the entrance later. Now our next dragon. Sukumo. Sukumo, uh, Sukumo, yeah. Hello, Sparrow. Nicely done. I'll be done when I've toasted that nasty nork. <laughs> Yeah, and he turns you to crystal again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just love how Spyro was being so savage and nasty Nork, especially when he did nothing wrong to begin with. <laughs> he was just in he was in his home, minding his own business, getting his grub on. <laughs> Eating his drumstick. Oh, hundred towers. 
Not as bad as the uh, Lofty Castle. Yeah, it, I agree, at the least, yes. Yeah. The fools, he was doing the moonwalk! <laughs> was he James? He, was he James Brown? Oh yeah, those clock dudes. At first I thought they were enemies, but no. They're platformers. Yeah, once you flame them, you'll trigger the plant from the lower. And yeah, they do run on air. Alright, get that extra life. Hey, I can see my house from here. Wait, Spot doesn't even have a house. He lives in Artisans. <laughs> Alright, now we're going to the main entrance of Dream of Weavers. Anybody go for that well hidden skill point? Yeah, I remember I was watching Brave's Crash's uh, impressions for all this, and it he couldn't find that skill point. You, you understand why? Right. It's right near the uh, the, the last flight level. <laughs> not that, not that one vast in the water. <laughs> All right, we might see a glimpse of icy flight. All right, so we're there. We just gotta jump on that chest is and just, just walk on through. Yeah, that's really unexpected. That's how we get that skill for. Like, who the hell was who? How, who the hell would figure this out? How else am I supposed to know we have to walk through a goddamn wall to find that skill point? They got me! Mm -hmm. See if folks, that's where that skill point is at. <laughs> Alright, so that's all the gems. And icy flight. Kinda hard. I will say it's, it's, it's the second hardest uh, flight level. Yeah, at, at, at the least second most difficult. Yeah. Cause like I mentioned, there's a trophy for for being uh, icy flight without without touching the ground. So in the next part, we're gonna start Dark Passage. Sounds good. Yeah. It is not. It's not. It's a fun level, not too dicky ish. Yeah, it's actually okay. Yes. Alright. Alright, folks, so like I said, in the next part, we'll take on Dark Patch. Until then, later, folks. Later. Later.